Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caliquin.com. Today is day 16 of Calculatober, and today I'm reviewing the Century 2 Line 228 Function Scientific Dot Matrix Display Memory and Statistics Calculation Case Included Binary Octal Decimal and Hexadecimal Calculation Auto Off Scientific Suggested. Okay. I don't know where's oh here we go just scientific calculator um so uh yeah as you can see this thing is still sealed i got the set goodwill for three bucks uh so let's see what what it features i think i read all of those off from the front but uh so it's perfect for high school college students professionals performing advanced calculations and their use of commas here is a little awkward. They forgot a space after that. Anyway, so it comes with a detailed instruction book, two line display, a hard protective case, 228 program functions, auto off, high speed calculations, memory and statistics calculations, multicolored keys, and yeah, and a limited one year warranty. Um, so the reason I decided to go with this calculator today is because of the sticker. It says compared to the TI-30X, or compares to the TI-30X, which is uh, almost what I reviewed yesterday, which was the TI-30XA. So I'm going to have this calculator just kind of off to the side to do some basic comparisons. Um, anyway, I need to get a picture of this because I forgot to do that since it's still in its original packaging. Click. Okay, so I've now wasted two minutes getting to the calculator and I haven't even opened it up. So. Oh, it sounded like there's something still in there. All right. So uh, this has a really nice uh, brushed aluminum front plate, which I didn't notice until it was actually out of the package. Um, and a nice protective cover. Ooh, I like that. It, you can actually see through the protective cover. Really nice feel. Um, this feels like it's made of good quality materials. So no issues there. Um, a little difficult to get back in here. Why won't you go in? Okay. All right, so strange placement of the on button, just kind of off to the right, sort of in the middle. All right, so let's uh, let's play around with this. So two square root. What? Oh, we gotta do square root two. Two. I'm so used to writing. Okay, so square root of 2 is, yeah, that's that's right. That 1 kind of comes across as a 7 at the angle I'm looking at. If I tilt it back, it's not quite visible. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but, uh, so that's already kind of an issue, like, not even being that far away from it. Uh, the numbers get all distorted. Um, anyway, times square root of 2. Well, okay. That's right. Um, I'm, I don't like this. I don't like the feel of the buttons. Uh, so anyway, go, going back to the comparisons of this, uh, I did have a lot of criticism with the buttons on this, but they're at least comfortable to use, whereas this one, they don't feel quite right. Like they're spaced just a little too far apart and feel kind of weird. Um, I do like the replay phone uh, buttons. That is kind of cool to be able to go through and replay things you've already done. So 
this looks like it has a uh, random number function, so let's check that out. So, I'm guessing it's shift. Nope. See, I'm really used to hitting the uh, the clear button up here, but I keep hitting the off button. It's kind of annoying. No. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, round. It's not rand. It's round. Then what's ran? Uh, and 63, no? Uh, okay, 6, okay, so for some reason it's backwards, it puts the, the number symbol there. I don't like this. I don't like that you have to hit the square root before you hit the number. That's an, that's really irritating. Um, also, trying to use this calculator on this desk, I mean, it looks fine on the camera, but I assure you, from my angle, it looks atrocious. Um, I can't really see what I'm doing, so the only way to really reliably use this calculator is to have it in your hand, which uh, is fine for you know a lot of scenarios, but considering where does it say? I thought it said something about the SATs on here. But it, oh yeah, here we go. Permitted on the SAT, but from my experience, taking any form of test with a calculator, you don't typically have the calculator in one hand. You have it on the laying down on a desk, and yeah, that. So if my tests were here, I would need it about here. But then it's kind of an awkward position for typing. Um, so yeah, I don't like this. I, th I thought it would be better. I actually thought this was going to be better than the 30XA, but this is way worse. Um, still have a little bit of give in the keys anyway, so the one fault that this thing had, this one has as well. And I just picture this, like, because of the spacing between the buttons, I just picture this getting filled with grime and other gross stuff from a lot of use. Uh, yeah. Go, go with a TI-30X before you go with this. This is... Not great. Well, okay, one advantage it has over the non-solar version is I'm assuming the battery goes under here, and the, so you only have to remove one screw to get to it. But that off button being right up there, that that's a huge pain, especially if you need to be storing things in the memory. Uh, like, it's just such a natural thing to hit the upper right. So, check out random pi numbers. That is cool. I, I do like the random function. Um, I wonder if... So if I do 10 rand uh, and I just want one digit, well, nope. So 10... So it is kind of annoying that it automatically doesn't do just whole numbers. There might be a way to change that, but it's not a huge deal because all you have to do is just take the first digit and then there's your whole number. So if you need a 20-sided die, for example, oh, no, 20, shift, ran. So you just use the first whole number and ignore the rest, I guess. And it would work fine. Anyway, that is the Sentry CA700. I didn't notice that in the title. It's right up here, too. So the Sentry CA700 Scientific Calculator. Not great. One of the worst screens I've ever seen on a calculator. Um, yeah, that alone, I, I can't recommend this thing. Also, the off button being up in the upper, upper right like that, and the on being here. What were they thinking? Come on.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. And I hope you have a great day. So, bye!